to Hana Yota Subaru Mitsubishi Sashimi. What is going on, guys? We're back with some more Doken Battle. We're gonna be awakening Buhan. I got Buhan months ago. Literally, like when his banner dropped, I did what is it, three or four single summons, and I pulled this man. And when I pulled him, I didn't even know how freaking good he was. I had no idea. Look at my filthy, non awakened freaking Buhan here. So freaking disgusting. But, uh, you know, we got the medals for him. So we're going to be awakening him right now on camera. But I want to go through his stats, letting you guys know what he's about. So can we go ahead and click him? Uh, there he is. So Buhan, non-Doken. Uh, leadership ability, intelligent types only. Gets two key and 50% up for HP attack and defense as a leadership uh, ability. Super attack greatly lowers um, attack and defense of the enemy. And he has a 30% chance to do the Super Ghost Kamikaze Kamehameha, which greatly, greatly reduces attack and defense. And uh, he's a freaking nuker, and he heals. So every orb he obtains, he gets a 25% uh, health back, or you get it if you want to be, you know, extra. And uh, he gets 25%, sorry, he gets 10% uh, boost for every orb he obtains. So he's a fucking nuker. So we're going to awaken this beast of a beast. Of a motherfucking beast, guys. I'm very excited. I've had this boo on for so long, like I said. And this this awakening is long overdue. So it is about time that this shit actually happened. Buhan! Friggin' Dokkan Awaken. I can't believe I had this card. I freaking can't believe it. Probably one of the best cards in the game, definitely. Now we're gonna revisit his stats and see what he's about. He becomes a beast, guys. He really does. He already was a beast, but he's even, look at that. I love this card art so much. It is freaking clutch. Uh, leadership ability, intelligent types only gets three key and 70% up for HP attack and defense. His super tag is pretty much the same. I don't know if he has like a greater chance to do his super ghost kamikaze kamehameha. I don't think he does. I think it remains around 30%, but his passive increase. So instead of having a 10% orb increase, 10% attack up per orb is now 12% attack up per orb. Instead of healing 2,500 uh, you know, points back, he does 3,000 points back in terms of HP recovery. So that is freaking clutch as hell. Let's see if we can level him up a bit. I'm sure we have some items that we can get him up to at least level 60 at fucking least, guys. Definitely going to be running him during one of these events to see what he's about. Let's give him this bitch-ass TN. And uh, let's give him... Let's give him this fucking Chi Chi. Give him this Vegeta. Don't need him. Give him this Kui. And uh, do we have someone else that I. Let's give him this stupid fucking card. That right there is 57 levels. That's freaking clutch. That's freaking amazing. Um, he's SA uh, 10 if you don't know, so he's completely maxed out if you're fucking curious about that. Give him, you know, two of these, and then, you know, there we go. 87. Sorry, 86 levels. I'm. I have all kind of fuck ups in this video. And now we're gonna give him this 108 levels right off the back. That is disgusting. That is friggin' straight up nasty. Okay? Like he's pretty much maxed out. Pretty much, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and run through this. So I really can't wait to run him on one of these events. Stats are through the roof. He's not even maxed out, he's already at 10,000 plus HP. So that's freaking amazing. Like I love this card so much. Freaking clutch as hell. So of course I'm gonna completely level him um all the way up off camera, but that's Boo there. That's the awakening of the fucking beast, guys. So thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned for some more good video, guys. Like, share, comment down below. See you next time. Bye-bye.